Hi family, it's so good to see you again. I'm so excited about sharing the new year with you. I um, I was trying to think of what I can give you as a pre-gift in terms of insight to get you going in the brand new year. And understand um, everybody, and the link is below, that does have a quick question for me. I'm now using WeSo, in which case I could give you your own personal video back so that you can get that for $25. Um, of course, those that want me one-on-one -on -one for an in-depth, uh, just go over to the link also below or my website, NicoleColeman.com. But for right now, this Hayoka, your Hayoka Spiritual Bodyguard, is going to give you something very small that's usually missed to make sure, especially those of you that have yet to go on a date or yet to be in a business deal or a career move, I'm just going to teach you one small, simple thing so that you'll be able to tell like an x-ray machine who is what and what is what, what is it. And I say that because people usually bury themselves with their words and it'll happen very quickly. For those of us who are still asleep, you you won't catch it right away. You might feel odd, but because you're not understanding what's happening with the energies and what's happening with the words and what they've just given away, it's not clear to you. So you usually think it's just you or you've had a hard day or whatever, but it is not. So I'll give you an example. People will always speak about anything and everything that is part of their energy field, what they're already accustomed to being and doing. That makes sense. So a person would never freely talk about what they are not, right? Because it wouldn't occur to them because they're not that. And they would most definitely not talk about what they would never do because they've never done that, that they would talk about what they would never do if they would ever talk about that because they've never done. So what you've never done, you don't have a need to talk about it. Only if you've done things and it's in your personality, in your traits, in your energetic field, if you've done it in the past or you plan to do it to a person, would you say to someone something like, it's not like I'm, I would never take advantage of you. Yeah, you would. I'm, I'm not trying to rush you. Yeah, you are. I don't want to be rude. Yeah, you do. It's, it's, it's not like I'm trying to manipulate you. Fuck yeah. Pay attention to what people are saying that they would never do to you. Especially when it comes across in the casual conversation. You didn't ask them, would you ever do this? they just offered. I would never take advantage of you. Yeah, you would. And they say that when they see that you are slow to answer. So they're going to offer naively one of the things that they do do. Now, maybe they have decided not to do it with you, but trust me, they've done it to others. And if they have done it to others, that means that seed and that energy is in within them and they could easily, very easily be triggered to do it again with you. Salesmen are the biggest, easiest to spot when they're trying to net you in. The other thing that they would do is that they would not mention a large amount. They would slip a piece of paper and they would write all the six zeros because they think that when you see it, it doesn't sound, and it's true because you're just reading it. I, I can't believe I, when I was with my ex, he was so fucking stupid. I have to tell you, we were buying a package or something, and I was looking at the salesman, and, and uh, I said, so how much is this and that? And so he slips a piece of paper, and he puts all the zeros there. And I said, uh, could, you, could you tell me what that is? And the ex goes, oh, it's blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... I know what it is. I just want him to tell me what it is. And he was just very unaware. But um, um, 
it was funny because it's just a very simple tactic. People also know that when you say things that are linked to other things that you get in a certain mood. And it's very, very true. And that's why I say, if you're going to have the same person that you talked to at another time when you were going through an ordeal and the next time they see you, they're like, how's that ordeal? You don't want to talk to them about that ordeal. And you need to train your people, even those that are not awake, to not take you back to your fucking ordeals. You've killed those. You've buried those. You're on to bigger, bigger stakes now. And so I'm sorry doesn't help. How's that other fucked up thing you're going through? You don't need to go back into that energy. Just, it's great to see you. People usually don't know how to interact moment to moment because they're always on the future or the past, which is why the whole world is triggered in communicating and projecting what they fear or what they're reacting to based on their past. It is very rare to find a group of people that are present. Those are the entrepreneurs, those are, those are the creative types because creativity can only happen in the present. That's why they're powerful. That's why their energy is clean. That's why they're drawn to you because you make them understand how powerful they are. So when you are dealing with people, understand, and it's really sad because even in our history books, even in history class, we are trained to learn that memory can't, it can't be like a snapshot of a memory right now in the present. Memory means back there. So when people talk to you and they see you, they're trying to recall the last thing that they said to you or what was going on in order to show you they care. They, they can't just receive you right now and, and take in your energy and comment and, and say, you feel like a good vibe today or you're looking amazing. What's changed in your life? Who you pull to because it's like doing shit to you. Like, no kidding. I had a client and like the day after he went somewhere and he had to call me back and tell me he was laughing his head off, I think with his mom or something. And she's like, did you cut your hair? And he's like, no, no, I didn't cut my hair. She said, Is that a new shirt? No, no, you've seen this shirt a thousand times. And he's doing what he's doing. He's helping her out. And then he goes back and, and, and then she looks at him. She says, you look great. Like at first she saw him, she says, what's wrong? Like you look different, right? Because he, I guess, looked a certain way. But that's what I mean. When someone infuses you with their magic, that's what will happen. And that's how you'll know you need to be with someone like that. Um, so pay attention to the words that people are using, to what they're saying they are not, or what they're saying they would never do. Because again, you don't need to reinforce what you would never do because you've never done that. You would only need to reinforce it if it's something you're thinking of actually doing. So it's almost like because we have a human connection and intrinsically we understand we're shared, there's a part of us that feels we're transparent because we are, for those of us like me that are Hayoka, we can feel the energy of the others. And for all my baby Hayokas that aren't graduated yet, you're getting there. But so every human being is going to understand at an elemental level that they are transparent. And so when they speak to you, they speak from that transparency. So they're defending or validating what they are inside. And you cannot defend or validate what you're not. So pay attention to what people say they would never do, especially if you're not straight asking them, would you do A, B, C? If they're, it's just coming out in conversation, dead giveaway, silent killer, nip it in the bud, a quick death.